I'm going to go ahead and get started. I typically use Rufus as my flash drive creator and I'm just going to let it do its thing. I have a lot of USB enclosures hanging off the back of my PC. I use a lot of NVMe hard drives in enclosures connected to 3.2 USB standard jacks and so so my machine is loaded with USB devices. I like to take advantage of high-end USB, like USB 3.2 or USB 4.0, because it gives me all the speed capabilities where I can leverage NVMe hard drives in USB enclosures. And I actually will bring in a shot so you can take a look at my PC. <coughs> All right, so we now have Rufus up and running. This is a portable app. You don't have to install it. You just double click it and it runs. For some reason, it's having a hard time. And the reason that it is, is these are designed to go out and investigate your USB ports. And when it does that, it goes out and says, oh my goodness, what is this man got connected to his PC? There's a lot of USB devices hooked up to my computer. Now you can use the Windows Media Creation Tool on the down Microsoft download site. So if you want to use that Media Creation Tool, that works great. I prefer Rufus and I'll show you why in just a minute. It tries to determine what flash drive is available. And this is where you really want to be careful. You don't want to mistake here. You want to make sure you've chosen the drive that you want to format and put your ISO on. So I'm going to select my ISO. It found my ISO. Here's the target system and here's where we need to choose is this device that I'm going to install on UEFI natively or CSM. CSM is a way for UEFI biases to act and behave like legacy biases. If that's the case, you're going to have to change the target system to CSM, not non-CSM. So this expects a UEFI native bias. We're going to use GPT for a partition system. You can see there are many options here. This is the volume label that it's going to choose. I'm going to leave everything like it is, but watch what happens when I hit start. As I hit start and it begins to do this, it's going to ask me some questions. And this is what makes Rufus so desirable. Here are my options and this is very good. Do I remove the requirement for 4 gigs of memory, secure boot and TPM? And I can say yes. Remove the requirement for an online account. Yes. Create a local account and I'm going to change this to John. This is my always my local account name, my administrative account, John. Very careful with passwords, but that's my local account name because when I install Windows, it's going to disable my onboard administrator and it's going to make this guy the administrator of that box. So his name can be simple, but the password needs to be complex and difficult. Da disable data collection, disable BitLocker, set regional options to the same value as the users, yes. So this is going to automatically customize this install that normally isn't available to you in Windows Media Creation Tool. So this is why this is very, very nice. So I'm going to give it a minute. It will say OK. And so you can see it's starting to delete the partitions. We're going to let this run and we'll come back. It will use some video magic to spare you the horror of watching this take place because it takes a long time. Keep in mind you can simply go to any browser and just type in 24H2 Windows 11 download and it should take you to the download site. You can see a lot of links here are not what I want but up here download Windows 11. And again, you can use the Windows Media Creation Tool if you want to. That's fine. That'll work. 
and they have an installation assistant. You're welcome to use that. You can also use their media creation tool. I just download this and I bring down an ISO and go from there. So that's how I begin the process. And I get it on my hard drive and I begin to use Rufus as my tool because it gives me a lot more options to use that Windows 11 image. If you don't, then you're going to have to have all the requirements, TPM, a secure boot, uh, all of those things, a certain amount of memory. You're going to have to go through a lot of extra hoops and jumps. So if you have older hardware, you really can't use this. You've got to use Rufus to interfere with this Windows 11 disk image and get it installed. Now, one of your questions might be, will it activate? Yes, it will activate. I've hacked Windows 11 many different ways and it'll activate. It takes a while and it's just, it's copying from the ISO, which is almost 5.9 gigs. So it's a monster and I'm using a 16 gig flash drive. So you definitely want to have at least a 16 or an 8 gig flash drive. Mr. Vanderpool, can I use Rufus for building flash drives for Linux? I've used it for Debian. I've used it for Ubuntu. Some variations of Linux will specifically specify a particular media creation tool. If that's the case, I probably will use what they highly recommend. They'll usually say, we recommend you use this tool because our experience that it works better. And, and I will do that. But you can use this for just about any kind of operating system. I've got a whole video on Rufus. So if you want to look at it, you're welcome to do that. And I really go into detail what you can do with this tool. It's my go-to tool. All right, here we are finished and we can now remove the flash drive and go ahead and try it. If you're watching me right now, you're the very person we're attempting to reach with our channel. People with a real interest to learn technical topics and skills. Because our content is free on YouTube and our audience is a relatively small group of viewers, if any of this material is helpful to you, we would appreciate your support. You can support the channel as simple as liking a video. Hit that like button because it helps others like you find our content. You can subscribe. It's an effective way of supporting us. And if you can, if you're able, you can become a member of the channel. It's $2.99 a month, less than a cup of coffee. And we really want your comments and feedback on any video we produce. And thank you for supporting Tech Savvy Productions.